Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for tonight's main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Oscar De La Hoya's got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk, you can see exactly what's in his scope. The body snatcher's making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. Able to dismiss it. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the body snatcher. Do that again. Great movement to get away from those punches. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. De La Hoya's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Able to score with the hook. There you go. Final ten seconds of round number one. Working the body. 
Game of Hoya showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Breathe deep, breathe deep. You're in control of this. Keep it up, nice one. Here we go, round two is underway. You see him holding on. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Dave Ahoya is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Trinidad, Mosley, Hopkins, Mayweather. They all topped the Golden Boy. What was missing from Oscar De La Hoya where he could have come out on top of those encounters? You know, that's part of his legacy, and that's a great question because part of his legacy he's made more money than all these great fighters maybe almost put together. I mean, that's how much money he's made, but he's lost just about all of his big fights. Mentally, it's in the mental dimension. It's not in the physical dimension where he's been in those kind of fights. He hasn't made adjustments, you know, He's found a way to lose instead of a way to win. He, he found a way to compromise himself, to undermine himself. A little head hunting with the right. the body. Dave Hoya is in a real tough spot now with that cut. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Tried the hook, didn't get it. The body snatcher is really impressing us here tonight. That last round, boy, he was on top of his game and all over his opponent laid out some serious damage there. Yeah, I noticed that he's starting to land that uppercut a little bit. The only thing that I wouldn't be satisfied with what he did the last round, I would just look for it for confidence to do more as sort of a good roadmap to maybe even get a knockout victory here. Put something on top of those uppercuts. You know the uppercut's landing. Now put something up top. Hook to the body, uppercut. It's there for you, all right? Don't just walk in. And round number three is underway. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. The body snatcher is able to land a nice clean left hand. <laughs> Dave Ahoya's punches just don't look like what they should look like right now, Teddy. I know he's thrown a lot early on here, but there's no oomph on them. Well, that's the other side of it. There's always a flip side to a coin, and the flip side here in the boxing ring, yeah, he threw a lot of punches, but they didn't affect the guy. Right now, I think he's giving in a little bit. 
What impact from that uppercut by the body snatcher. Dave La Hoya's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good block by Dave La Hoya. I remember watching the fight that night and thinking to myself, this is the most satisfying feeling Oscar De La Hoya has ever had, and that was when he TKO'd Fernando Vargas. Well, it was for a lot of reasons. First of all, because a lot of people were saying straightforwardly that Vargas was more Mexican than De La Hoya was. You know, that they embraced Vargas, but De La Hoya was too pretty. He didn't fight the way maybe they thought a Mexican fighter should fight. And by knocking out one that was embraced by the Mexican fans, I think that was extra satisfying to show, hey, am I Mexican enough for you now? Am I fighter enough for you now? I think it was a combination of all those emotions. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. <laughs> each other the exchange was something special <laughs> there's the headshot but he parries it away banking away a body shot with the right hand you can see he's trying to score up top but off the mark there Ten seconds to go in this third round. The body snatcher is able to land a good, solid left hand. And that's the end of round three. Take it to this guy. Make it a dog fight. Close the gap and let your hands go. There you go. Keep circling. Don't stand in front of me. Got that? You are in. His opponent may regret the way he has started this fight tonight, finding himself already in a hole on Teddy's scorecard, down three rounds. Not able to land the headshot. Cut by Oscar De La Hoya. Punch, punch. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. The body snatcher is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever enough. you're doing, it had to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Solid left hand to the head. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. That's a great right hand by the body snatcher. Big shot. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape.
La Jolla is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now, if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Well off the mark by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Pace yourself! Good block. Fourth round now. Oh, did you see that? Great right hand by the body snatcher. Let's go. Oh, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Night long. This is your fight. You are in control. You're in control. No effort. This is your fight. You gotta bring your hands up. Yeah. You must bring your hands up. Relax. 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 You got to relax. You gotta watch the You gotta move out. Move, 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 move. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick and then get back into the flow. Blocks that punch. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. But boxing is such a global sport, and every little region of the country defines its fighters differently, and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're going to get a fighter who's a little cruder, and he's going to have to be more physical because... You know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits in somebody's background or preparation. Halfway into round number five here. Down defense, good block that time by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya is just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight, and since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to him. Yeah, and the important thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing, and he's not going to stay away. He's going to get more aggressive. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Missed that uppercut. Watch that!
this round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. The start of the sixth round. The body snatcher's looking like he's refreshed for this round. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Oh, that's good Stay stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the body snatcher. Off target with that hook. Body snatchers way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. But he also gave one solid effort by Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> the body snatchers clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires and he's making sure that he's using them. He's spinning them around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight back, you can always time him. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Oh. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Go out and get it. Go out and fight this guy. Okay, let's take it to these guys. You have to go. Here we go, action to start the seventh round. And he ties up on the inside. Keep moving, keep moving. is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, 
I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy. But at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. At the halfway point of round seven. Body Snatcher's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch scored. He clinches when he gets to the inside. The body snatcher's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. No doubt about it. We got it. You're losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Right. Knock this guy out. Keep your guard up, right? You don't need You're that. not we'll protecting yourself. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move. You know. I wonder if there's an answer to change this, Teddy. Here we are in round number eight, and it has become a one-sided fight as he has strung round after round together. You know, that's the right question, Joe, but you got to ask it to the right guy, not to the guy who's winning. He's going to keep doing it. Why would he change it? The opponent needs to be asked that question. Do you want to change this? Hoyas got a way of just getting away from that punch. And he engages in the clinch. The Body Snatcher's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. <laughs> 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Dave LaHoya's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it.
Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Reich after catching one by the body snatcher. Keep moving! Keep moving! Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten hey, seconds to go. See that come in. Let's go! What a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool. He knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. You want this fight? Listen, you want this fight? We got it. You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Trading right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Not much action as he just ties up. De La Hoya is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Oscar blocks that punch. The body snatcher showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Comes right back with some offense of his own. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Face yourself! What's the hook? Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. And that's the end of round nine. The body snatcher's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Just go for the head. Knock him out. It's done.
Okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Throw the jab and then... Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. They both decide to bring it. Dave La Hoya able to block that punch. That straight right unable to connect. <laughs> Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Got Blocks that focus. punch. The body snatchers throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Keep working the body. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up on that jab and finish off with a hook, okay? One, one, two, one, one, two. Much better, much better. That was good. <laughs> Let's go. What are you waiting for? We got it. You want this fight? Try as they may, De La Hoya's corner has been unable to fix what looks like a broken Humpty Dumpty face on there. As we start round 11, the scorecard and his face tell the story. the right hand well oh a big shot comes home for him and for the second time tonight he goes down Snatchers gun down yet another opponent, a knockout victory.
That's what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.